pork belly. It's one of those things that you just can't mess up. Boil it, fry it, braise it, grill it, and it'll probably taste good. But have you tried baked pork belly? You know, soft, tender meat with a super crispy skin. A lot of recipes out there are kind of complicated. Today, let me show you how to do it the easy way. Let's go. Super crispy pork belly. All right guys, get some skin on pork belly. I got about 500 grams here. First thing we're gonna do is score the skin. Scoring the skin will lead to a crispier texture cause it lets the fat from underneath fry the skin while cooking. Plus, it'll be easier to slice when it's time to eat. Once you got it looking like this, let's make a simple rub. Two teaspoons brown sugar, two teaspoons paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon salt, and some pepper. Mix it up and that's it. This is a base rub. You can adjust the amounts to your liking and add stuff to it as well. Or just buy something like this. It's totally up to you. Now pour some of the rub on the bottom side of the meat and give it a nice rub. Repeat on every side except for the skin. If you rub this mixture on the skin, it's gonna burn because of the sugar. Sugar can't handle high heat, guys. Always keep that in mind. Scrape up all the excess rub on your board and grab some Tupperware. Put it in nicely and stick it in the fridge overnight if possible. See you tomorrow. Okay, we're back. Take your pork belly out of the fridge and preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. Taking out the pork now gives it time to come down to room temperature, which is the ideal temperature to start cooking thick meats. Now grab some foil and line your baking tray. Then lay down a rack and set your pork belly on its skin side up. Oven's ready, so let's go. One hour and 20 minutes, guys. When finished, fight the urge to cut into it right away. Let it rest for at least 10 minutes so the juices go back to where they belong. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful piece of meat. That's it guys, slice it up and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future yumminess. Uh, I don't think that's a word by the way, but whatever. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.